Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Arthur Mix Plays European Rosellas 4 as France. Going for the big blue blob achievement. We got 21 years left. Um, we're currently fighting Brittany, hoping to full annex them. Um, but we're going to have to go deal with the Hansa and Savoy before they will capitulate. Uh, the Hansa's got 16,000 men in their army. So I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything until this falls and I can get my whole army up there. And then, make no mistake, I will do that. Um, this is still Denmark. You giving military access to the Hansa? No. Uh, I will take military access from you. Okay. That siege is over. my army ready to ferry up there I think Castile is more than capable of handling Savoy uh, yeah, it's fine um, so let's see I'm thinking what I'll do I'll do the same thing again I'll offload on the island so I'm sure that they'll be safe when they land. Is the Hansa's fleet over here? They are not. They must be in Lubeck. Okay. Uh, they're not in Lubeck either. Uh, okay, we should be able to get the rest of our f army on. Oh, there they are. Uh, they're in the open. And there's the rebels. Um, in the open, which is going to be bad for their four galleys. So yeah, let's go. If they'll let us attack them, I will take that fight. Absolutely. Uh, we won, but we did not sink any ships, so they retreated. Okay. That's fine. Um... Go blockade that province. Uh, autonomy increased, inspired here. Still no revolt risk, though. Merchant suffering. Okay, we can spare 10 diplo points. Uh, let's. We're not ahead of time anymore. Let's grab that. And we're going to want to start recruiting some artillery here pretty soon. Probably over here. Okay, we got there before those rebels joined forces. Oh, that was close though. They were just about to move in. Um. Uh, we're going to be defending. Morale is a little low. 
They are just rebels. Uh, all right, Savoy. Your capital has fallen. Well, let's get you out of this war. I don't want your territory. Too much aggressive expansion. And I'm already going to get a bunch for taking Brittany. Um... So just give up your claims. And you won't do that. Okay, that's fine. Um, Need to repair before I go take them on again. Uh, Brittany probably are not willing to give me what I want yet. No, not yet. I have to retake this fort. Sure. Let's go do that. I need to undo these so my coring progress can continue in those provinces. So we need to get them back in friendly hands as quickly as possible. Oh, that's where the Hansa's army went. Interesting. I was wondering why it was why it wasn't up here. All right. Well, that's going to make it a lot easier to take their capital. And I'd rather lose Scotland, which is already a core, than Denmark, which is not. Okay, we captured a transport. And they're down to four transports. Um, all right, I'm gonna send my light ships. Actually, send a couple of light ships to blockade this strait. Send a couple more to blockade that straight. Wait, is this straight? Uh, no. That straight. And send the rest of them to blockade that province. And you let's go here for now. Actually, go here. And they'll bottle up the Hans's navy. So they can occupy these four provinces. That's fine. Is that not enough to blockade this province? It is not. So my transport's over there too. Leave my heavies to bottle up this sh these ships. Uh, all right.
Then let's go take the Hans's capital. That should make them see reason. That is their capital, right? Yes, it is. Uh, is there a real fort there? There is, unfortunately. I'm probably going to take a little while. Um, you ready to capitulate yet? Nope. Well, then you're not that far off. Yep, you got four provinces, but I'm about to have your capital. And potentially, in fact, I don't need all of these guys here. Let's go start sieging that too. And... Do I still need these transports here? Yeah, I do. Um, in the meantime, At least six of those and get rid of six mercenaries. And we got a bunch of free merchants, or not merchants, diplomats. We should be fabricating claims on do no guard itself. Um, and Sweden. Um, do that. Oh, Castile. Uh, I'm not sure that's such a good idea, Castile. I mean, I appreciate the effort, but I don't think you're going to win that fight. Uh, I don't really want the minus two tolerance of heretics right now. So, no thank you. Half tempted to get another level of diplo tech, but we'll hold off for the moment. You ready to surrender yet? One more month. Uh, okay. Uh, all right, what did that do for our aggressive expansion? Okay, our Northern European aggressive expansion is bad, but not terrible. Burgundy, England, Sweden, Moscow, maybe Moscovy and Novgorod is pretty bad, though. Um, okay. Those are some expensive provinces, especially Anjou. Um, I don't think we need these forts anymore. I 
am going to increase autonomy. So, um, hopefully we can re avoid a revolt there. Uh, okay, so these guys are done with their job. Now, we got to do Novgorod. So who are you allied with, Novgorod? You are allied with Sweden. Who is Sweden allied with? Who is allied with England? All right, so we're going to wind up fighting Sweden and Novgorod. Sweden, how big is your army these days? So there's navies. Armies, Sweden. You have 21,000 troops. Impressive. Um... Let's regather my navy here. It's going to be a tough fight, but I don't think we need our allies for it. Fortunately, we're not going to be able to co belligerent Sweden, which is going to limit how much land we can take from them, because I still don't want to fight England. Um, Though there may come a time, there may come a time when I'm ready to fight England. Um, but that time is not now. How long is our truce with these guys? we got five more years. So by the time this war ends, we'll probably be ready to go back to war with Moscovy. We're kind of running short on time here. We took 12 more provinces. So we have 72, 74, I think. So we need 25 more. In 19 years, it's going to be tough. Um, that is going to be tough, but not impossible. Uh, okay. All right, well, let's get ready for war with Novgorod. Um, let's build, I want some artillery for my, uh, that takes almost a full year to build. I want some artillery f to attack Sweden with. Uh, we can mothball these forts again. Keep my ports there active, though. I didn't even look at what our overextension is. Oh, our overextension is over a hundred. Um, for another month, to almost two months. Hopefully, we don't get it. Hopefully we don't get a negative event before that finishes coring and it goes back under a hundred. Um, okay, we need to ferry them back up here. Sweden has bronze cannons, despite all the cannons I've built. They're the ones who get that, well, whatever.
Maybe maybe they actually finished the can their cannons first. Uh, maybe, but if so, it was not by much. Okay. So those cannons are done. All right, we did not get a negative event. We are back below 100% overextension. Um, so what you're telling me is a theologian would really help me right now. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna reduce my war exhaustion. Yeah, that gets rid of like all of those rebellions. Um, I don't think I want to wait for those cannons to finish. I think I want to go now. As soon as this, as soon as this army gets grouped up, we're going to declare. Uh, and actually. I'm going to send one cavalry over here to take this. <laughs> hmm. Do I want to wait for another claim? Um, tick tock, tick tock, 18 years left, 268 days, so he's got like another three months. That wouldn't let me get all these cannons. All right, I'll wait. Ooh, he's pretty good. How old is he? He's 30. That means we lost our awesome old leader monarch, though. Our new one is not nearly as good. But he will have to do. At least we have some cannons now, so fire is not completely useless. Let's move these in here. We have logistics all the way through here because of Barnholm. Finish the claim. Let's get another one. Uh, on your next most expensive province, which is this one. And we can't fabricate a claim on that anyway. Okay. All right, if we can, we're going to make a beeline for his capital. All right, so this is costing me. Oh, we can fabricate another claim on Sweden, too. I guess that's something. Um... We 
Connection to the most expensive one that borders us. We already have a claim on that, and that. That's a six. That's a four. That's a three. Three, but we can't get one on that. Um, gosh, all these provinces are so cheap. I don't really want expensive provinces necessarily. I'm perfectly happy with cheap ones. Um, I guess we'll do that one. And when we can declare war, um, we'll make Novgorod the war goal. Oh, Pomerania is going to be in this war. Interesting. Uh, we can't. We can't call them in. Hmm. You know what? Our diplomatic reputation. That could be a problem in the future. I'm going to grab this for the rest of the game, plus one diplomatic reputation. Uh, Sweden. We still won't come in, although that did help. Um, well, I wasn't counting on having you come in anyway mainly want you to fight Moscovy. Uh, yeah, so we'll make Novgorod the war goal. Okay. And yes, we can go straight for Stockholm. Beautiful. And look at that. That's what I like to see. Awesome. Hooray for cannons. Where does army go? It must have gone up this way. Yeah, it's going for Tron Leg. Right, you can go siege that. Have fun. Do you have any cannons in your army? You don't. Well, I do. Guess which siege is going to end quicker. You have exactly three forts in your whole country, huh? Oh, uh, go occupy that. Hmm, we might get this after all. Mm. Probably not, though. Probably not going to bother separate piecing with Pomerania. What? Oh, you recruited a troop there? Damn it. You are going all the way over there, huh? Okay, hang on.
six. And this plus three means the maximum is going to be way higher. Look at this, only six time, and we're already at 56%. Yeah, these sieges are going to take so much less time. That's really going to cut down on the amount of time it takes to conquer these provinces. Of course, admin points are going to be a severe limiting factor. Um, okay, let's go take this fort. What happened? He started with 10, he lost two, and there was one left at the end of the battle? All right, no idea what that what happened there. Go down and blockade this. Go ahead, occupy those provinces, Novgorod. Did you stop there? You stopped there. Yeah, let's go chase you down. Okay, let's go siege that. All right, well, you might as well come down and join this army. So you ran all the way over here. Okay. No, no, Grod, I'm not interested in your peace offers. <laughs> Let's go occupy that. So I definitely want to be done with this war, ready to attack Moscovy when my truce fires. I should be able to do that. When is these cores going to fit? No. Oh wow, this core's already finished? My overextension is already gone. Wow, that was fast. That's the nice thing about taking provinces uh, that are an accepted culture for you. It takes like zero time to core them. It takes a little bit longer for my admin points to recover, though. Okay, go blockade that. All right. Let's go occupy some provinces. Oh, he's leaving. With all of the forts in his country having been occupied, I'm not surprised. Going 
that way. Okay. You go siege that fort. Like he wants to come fight me. No, no, he wants to go reclaim his capital. He's going to go try and siege that fort. Uh, ooh, nice. Theologian. Excellent. Very happy about that. Couldn't get through this whole war without having at least one pitched battle. Well, I guess we had one against Novgorod right at the beginning. Where are you going? Like over here somewhere? Let's chase you. Oh, you're probably going here. Where's my navy? Light ships. Get over here. Let's go kill that army. Uh, actually, 10 light ships probably can't beat that. I have to send my heavies. They were not going to make it in time. Oh, yeah. Uh, two transports left. Okay, my light ships can beat them easily enough. Um, all right, we've got to wait for my navy to get back down here. Stack wiped you. Um, all right. We'll leave a couple of troops down here. We can probably peace out now. Seventy percent with Sweden. Um, probably going to wind up taking more than a hundred percent worth of overextension. How much overextension is Novgorod? If I take all their provinces. Sixty one. Okay. So I can take thirty nine from Sweden. Um, uh, do I have any more claims that I have not grabbed? No. 
Uh, that's 28. Um, let's see. Overextension. 6, 5. That's 39. Um, oh. I don't really want that. I'll take that. I don't really want that. Um, there's another three. Um, it's 40. It's 43. That's 39. Uh, it's not very pretty though. Um, plus it's a claim. Uh, oh, that's a hundred and fifty eight piece offer anyway. So never mind. Um, all right, well, let's start with the claims and see if we have enough war score to take all of them. We do not. Um, let's hold off then. I want to take 100% overextension worth of provinces from this war. And it should be really easy to get more war score. Okay. So let's see you like up to there. You up to there. You to there. You over to there. For starters. No, not my light ships. Can I retreat from this battle? Please do. We lost a transport that we picked that we had already captured. You're probably retreating over to here. Must have torn down the fort that was here. Um, Retreating down to there, huh? Uh, all right, Sweden. Now that I've taken a bunch more of your territory. Nope, you're still not amenable. You just need to take more of your land. Uh, actually, we should probably go and kill this army.
Well, I guess you still have this fort over here that hasn't been sieged down yet. Well, we can go do that. Okay, so much for Novgorod's army. Actually, send my army that actually has a leader over to take that. Yeah, not surprised to find troops there. Um, send you to reinforce these guys. Still not willing to do it. I need like one more province. Hmm, still not willing to do it, okay. Siege. That was fast. Kill this army. All right. Now, oops. All right. Now at ninety-two percent, so we could take a couple more provinces. Um. So it comes of not making them co-belligerent. So we could take at most a 17. No. Sure. That's 31. Is that the right amount of overextension? Uh, 61. No, it's supposed to be 29. Um, It's going to have to be one of those two. So we'll take that. Um, that's 28. 
and 98 war score. Okay. So, send demand. Oh, we're capped on Diplo power. Well, not anymore. Uh, and then Novgorod. You know, we haven't fabricated any claims on Moscovy. Oh, we can't take that. I don't. That belongs to Pomerania anyway. Yeah, I don't want that. Uh, um. Okay. All right, 89% overextension. So let's do the expensive ones. And it takes us down to two admin points. And we'll do the cheap ones, uh, cheaper ones as we get admin points for them. Um, and we need to fabricate another claim on Moscovy. Do they annex that? Is that a little bit simpler? truce ends in a year and a half all right well I don't know that we're gonna do another war between now and then probably not um, probably gonna call that good uh, unless we can do something really small and yeah, we can't attack them they're allied with Poland um, Yeah, England is kind of the only other target we have, really. And don't really, not really ma mind fighting Sweden again necessarily, but um, it would not be a short war. So we might do that, but uh, in the meantime, I think we're just going to prepare for a war with Moscovy. All right, well, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. And until then, have a terrific day.